Hi, my name is Mary, the godmother behind goodygodmother.com, and I'm here today to show you three different techniques for making chocolate dipped strawberries. I'm preparing for my preschool party play date, where the preschoolers are going to come to my house and decorate cookies for Valentine's Day, but I'd like to have a little treat for the moms. Moms usually prefer something a little healthier, at least I know I do, but I still want to feel like I'm enjoying something special. So chocolate dipped strawberries are the perfect treat, especially when they're dipped in dark chocolate, my personal favorite. So today I'm going to take some fresh strawberries, teach you some tips and tricks to making perfect chocolate dipped strawberries every time, and then I hope you will pop over to the blog afterwards to see the rest of the party details and learn how to create your own party play date. It's a great thing to do to keep the kids busy and tire them out when the weather's kind of icky. I think it would also be kind of fun for adults too. So for today's strawberries, there are I'm using um, already prepared candy melts. You could choose to temper chocolate, but um, because I'm doing this while my favorite color commentator, who you can see on the screen, is joining me, I wanted to go for something really simple. So. Yes, baby. Hi. <laughs> um, so I just went ahead and I melted some dipping candy in the microwave. You can use a double boiler as well, but I find the microwave to be pretty quick. Just microwave for a minute to start at 50% power, stir, and then repeat in 30 second interval intervals, also at 50% power, just until you get a nice consistency like this. Like this is beautiful. This is perfectly dippable. It's not too hot. Um, because then the chocolate will seize and it's not, um, and obviously it's melted enough for dipping. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my spoons um, here on my sheet of silicone. And then I have some white chocolate as well. Again, same consistency. Um, you need to set up a sheet of either wax paper or a silicone mat like this. I like using the silicone mats just because they are reusable um, and I just don't go through as, I don't generate quite as much waste with that. Uh, start with clean and perfectly dry strawberries. You really don't want any moisture at all on the strawberries, so wash them, set them on a clean dish towel, and pat them dry individually before you put them on your bowl. Look for firm strawberries. If you have any soft spots on the strawberries, that moisture will be accentuated when you dip and then you'll get like a mushy mouthfeel and nobody wants that. So, the key to a perfectly dipped strawberry, you grab the strawberry by the, um, by the tops. Oh, and another thing, Wash them and let them sit out for a little while because if your strawberries are too cold and fresh from the refrigerator, the chocolate is more likely to crack. So I've had mine sitting out for just a couple of minutes. They're still kind of cool. It should be okay, but some of the first strawberries might have little cracks. No one's going to care. So I tilt my bowl a little, dip one side, dip the other, and I don't go all the way up. You can if you'd like. And then be sure to shake off the excess. If you don't have a lot of excess material, you, uh, material, chocolate. If you don't have a lot of excess chocolate, you won't get those big pools. So then the strawberries will look nice and professional. And then for one of our techniques, we're gonna go ahead and just dip half the strawberry. So I put the strawberry in at an angle and Hi. try to get pretty high up. Hello, sunshine. What? You okay? Yeah. Mm hmm So there we go. So that's half dipped. I need to let that dry completely before I move on to the next step. And then I'm going to dip once more. What? Hello. And this is great. Um, Okay. For slightly okay. older, okay. we can't dip that baby. Those are just strawberry leaves. But thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is great for slightly older kids to help too. My daughter's a bit of a chocoholic, okay. so she would probably dip the strawberry, lick it, and then try to dip it again. And I personally just can't handle that, so um, we're not doing that. 
Uh, if you'd like to top your strawberries with anything, the best when you would do that would be immediately after you've dipped the strawberry. So you'd go ahead, dip your strawberry, have your bowl of toppings, sprinkles, whatever, you know, coconut, unsweetened coconut is fantastic okay. too. Toasted nuts, thank you baby, those are the plates, that, those are the little cups that we're going to use afterwards to plate the strawberries. Hey. Hi. 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 Is he? Yeah, we're filming a tutorial for the vlog. Is he? So now my angled strawberry is set just enough. This is the great thing about using candy melts, they Mommy. set very quickly. Yes. Hey. Hi. Um, they set very quickly, so now that my first angled strawberry is set, I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in my second chocolate. Again, at an angle, lift it out, shake off any excess, because again, you want a nice smooth covering and look, a beautifully angled strawberry. So down that goes, and there was a little extra. Alright, and then I'm just going to teach you the last technique for today. Thank you, baby. Um, the last technique for today is a drizzling technique. You can either use a fork and dip the tines of the fork into your white chocolate and shake it over the strawberry, but I don't trust myself to create really um, beautiful thin lines that way. In fact, I just it doesn't work out so well for me. So if it does for you, that is fantastic. Go with that. But um, I tend to use either a piping bag or even a corner of a sandwich Ziploc bag. Um, it doesn't have to be a really thick Ziploc bag because this is not, we'll have cookies later, baby. Um, this is not very hot chocolate. So you just fill your piping bag or your um, Ziploc bag, snip the tiniest bit off the corner Let me zoom in a little bit to show you. And then I just take this and I make sure first that I have a nice steady stream coming out of the piping bag. And then I just go right over my strawberries in a cross or at a zigzag, whatever you want. So across and then add a little more, but you see I get these nice thin stripes which just look very pretty. Um, you can also go in two directions if you want. You know, do whatever makes you happy. And if you'd like to add sprinkles um, like sanding sugar or very, very fine sprinkles that just cling to the top, um, to the second drizzle, now would be a good time to do it. You do have to work quickly though, just because the drizzle set much faster than the dip because you have less chocolate to work with. So, okay baby, I'll take your apron off right now. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it inspires you to brave setting up a party for your own small ones. Thank you so much and please pop over to the blog and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more and I will see you next time.